This is Christy Idaho Painter here on Paint Live TV. Today, we're gonna give you some tips on tips. So stay tuned for this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button because it doesn't do you any good if you subscribe but don't get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's simple, free, easy to do. Now let's get started. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got a bunch of tips that sit in front of me and I'm gonna be talking about tips, what tips I use, when I use them, and where I use them. And I like to really you know, simplify this process, like I like to simplify a lot of things in the painting process just to make it more faster and more efficient so you can just make money and you don't have to make a whole lot of decisions. Here's three tips in front of me. If I could have only three tips, these are the three tips I'd have. This is a 310, a fine finish 310. This is a high production 515 tip. And then this is a um, Titan HEA 619 tip. And I'll talk a little bit about each one of those and where I use them. But I've used, uh, probably over the last five years, almost just exclusively these three tips right here and all the interior and exterior painting I've done on interior and exterior repaints. So when in the new construction industry, it's, it would be a little bit different what tips I would have, but this is the repaint industry. And I'll first talk about fine finish tips. And I got a 310 tip right here that I'll talk about. And this is all the tips that you're sitting here in front of me. These are all Titan tips. If you don't understand tip sizing, the numbers, I'll just give a really quick breakdown, but I have another video that explains it in depth. The first number, the three, you uh, multiply it by two and that gives you the fan width at 12 inches from your surface. So this is a six inch fan. And the next number, the 10, the two digit number, that's your orifice size, tells you, you know, this, how uh, much paint is actually coming out of the tip when you're spraying and every manufacturer has you know their own, own color coating now titan's tips purple tips are fine finish tips so these tips are going to give you a really fine finish like an automobile finish on certain things that you're painting like trim cabinets um in furniture stuff like that where you re where it's really critical you don't have any type of egg shelling on your finish but it just levels out and gives you a buttery smooth finish if i could only have one fine finish tip, it would be a 310 tip. And that would be, you know, I'm doing repaints. And so to me, I'd be using a tip like this to spray doors. I'd spray gutters with it. I would spray my interior trim pack, anything where I wanted a fine finish. If I'm gonna spray cabinets with an airless sprayer, I'm gonna use a fine finish tip, a 310. Just about everything, I would use a 310. Now, if I had the opportunity to add one more fine finish tip in there, I'd add a 510 tip. When I was doing new construction, most of my new construction was using a 510 because we were spraying a lot of doors in new construction. You got a wider fan and you can move a little bit faster. You can do your doors faster in new construction and new construction is all about speed. But this is the most versatile fine finish tip you can use. You can do all kinds of things with it. Great for um, gutters, great for downspouts, front doors, side doors, all that kind of stuff. Fine finish tip. You gotta have one of those anytime you want that automobile-like finish. The Titan Red Tips, these are high production tips. So these are tips designed for spraying large surfaces, large areas, and spraying really fast. So the droplets of these tips are gonna be a lot bigger, and you're not gonna get that really fine finish, but you're not really concerned about that when you're spraying like ceilings, walls, the exterior of a house, siding, stuff like that. So this is a high production tip. Titan Green Tips, these are um, HEA tips, and they stand for High Efficiency Airless. And don't confuse Titan's Green Tips with some other manufacturers that they have green tips that are fine finish tips. So these are high efficiency airless tips, and they're more like kind of like a high production tip, but these, these type of tips give you a really fine edge, a fine edge instead of a sharp edge like the high production tip does a fine edge, but they're also designed to run at really low pressures, right around 800 to 1000 PSI at the gun, where high production tips 
are designed to run at higher pressures, like around 2200 PSI at the gun. But these things are very, uh, very good tips for controlling overspray. So people that are concerned about overspray, then the high efficiency airless tips, these green tips are the ones that you would want to choose. So early on in my career, I started spraying you know, uh, on exteriors. We'll just talk about exteriors with larger tip sizes. I was using like 619s on the on exteriors, and what I notice is those larger tips would create more overspray. And if you had windy conditions and stuff like that, you know, overspray can be an issue. If you want to control overspray, but you still want to have the speed of high production, to me, the most versatile tip to have is a 515. For probably the last six, seven years, all the exteriors we ever sprayed were, were done with a 515 tip. So the exterior of a house, um, the exterior of the stucco, um, the exterior sided on T111, all that kind of stuff on exteriors is sprayed with a 515. I would typically even spray like the, the back doors, the man doors and stuff like that. I would spray them with this tip. I wouldn't even change out to a fine finish tip. On a front door, I would change out and I would spray um, the front door with a fine finish tip of 310. But the five, five, um, 515, uh, the metal garage doors, the roll up doors, spray it with a 515. A very versatile tip. This tip could even be used to spray the interior. So when you're doing walls, um, ceilings, closet packs, you can use a 515 tip for doing that. If I uh, had you know, one more tip that I could add to my collection of a high production tip, it would um, probably be a 619 tip if, um, when it comes to the high production tip, but a 515 is gonna be very versatile. And the reason why I would want a 619 on, um, for a high production tip, and that would be for interiors. I wouldn't use it on exteriors, but I would use it on interiors and I would use it on walls. Um, closets, I want to spray those closets fast, get them done really quick. And then on walls, I want a wider fan width so I can spray my walls you know, quicker. And then I also want more paint coming out because I want to really saturate those walls so I don't have lap marks. But that's where a HEA tip would come into play. I would always want to have um, an HEA tip in my vehicle and um, specifically this tip right here I'd be using, this is a 619, it's great for ceilings. If you want to spray ceilings without getting lap marks, but with the Titan HEA tip, uh, it'll just absolutely dramatically improve your ceiling spraying and you won't get those lap marks because it gives you that really nice feathered edge. You're not gonna get fingering and tailing if you set this tip up properly. You've gotta have the right PSI at the gun or else it won't function properly. But once you get it set up, you have the right product running through here, ceilings will be amazing and a lot easier to spray with a 619. I would spray my walls, you could spray your walls with um, a 619 here. Like we have um, orange peel textured walls, we have Sun Valley textured walls that are not smooth textured walls. This is gonna throw out larger droplets than a high production tip, but it'll still give you a really smooth finish on um, even say like a level five wall. And a level five wall would be really critical to use a um, Titan HEA tip because you're gonna get those nice edges. If you use a high production, tip on say like a smooth wall, um, smooth textured walls level five, you might get fingering or lap marks because these high production tips, they leave kind of a sharp edge and not a really feathered edge. In new construction, when I was doing, back in my new construction days, when I did a lot of new construction, uh, day in and day out, when I was spraying walls, it's all about speed and getting things done fast. I would be using a 510 tip for doing all my trim packs. Because up here too, we're one by four trim. So the trim is, um, it's pretty wide. So the baseboards are pretty wide. Door jams, window trim, they're pretty wide. And you want that uh, tip to span that distance so you can shoot it just one time. You don't want to have to do multiple um, passes on your trim work. And you're going to have a little bit more um, extra overspray and extra paint, but in, in um, new construction, it doesn't matter because there's no flooring, there's nothing in there. It's just a bare house, bare wood, and you're just uh, blowing and going. If I was doing brick and I'm spraying it with stain, um, like a solid color stain like H and C, I'd be using a 515 tip. On a, um, a fence on a really, really windy day, 
you can take um, and still spray a fence that doesn't have any surrounding houses or anything you're worried about overspray, but to control overspray, you can drop down and use a 310 on a fence. You're gonna have to go a lot, lot slower than you would with a 619. But when we're doing fences, this is because you're spraying over the top of the fence. You've got the pickets of the fence that the product, the stain can go through. That's where we're using an HEA tip, a high efficiency airless tip, because you're dropping your, your uh, pressures down really, really low. So cabinets, I probably spent um, eight years or so painting cabinets. Every single one of them were with water-based products and sprayed with fine finish tips and uh, predominantly a 310 tip. Occasionally I would use a 510 if I had one around. So once again, you know, I'm, I'm a guy inside my vehicles. I really like to simplify the processes. I simplified, you know, tape down to just having two sizes of tape, one inch and inch and a half, and only a couple tape, um, tape products. I had just a production tape and frog tape and then like a high tack tape like um, duct tape or T-Rex tape. Uh, I really simplified the paper process down. I eliminated all the different size papers and over probably the last 15 years only used nine inch paper on everything. If I needed more, I doubled up the nine. If I needed less, I folded the nine or cut it. And so once again, same with tips. I've just eliminated, you know, all this wondering what's inside this can, how long these tips have been used because you're just gonna forget. It's like, um, and tips don't last forever. I got a video on that. They um, simply, uh, they last a lot, lot less amount of time than you actually think. They're really getting, um, starting to get blown out like a high production tip, about 20 gallons and that orifice size, a 515 is already a 517 around 20 gallons. So here's how I keep my tips organized. This is a tip saver uh, down in uh, mineral spirits or paint thinner. My tips are just kept, you know, inside there. And you know, once you start to get a handful of tips in there, it's really hard to remember what's what and when it was used last and you know how many gallons have been put through it. So simplify the process, 310, 515, 619. It's gonna get you a whole long ways. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, once again, subscribe to our channel, hit the little notification bell. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Got a lot of really cool short tips, tricks, and just all kinds of stuff, whatever I'm out there doing, me, my family, Friends, um, Paint Life crew, we're out there hanging out on all those weird places. See you on our next video.